Shalom, Shalom. Ka'ala, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chak, Wadash, peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This right here is the book of Matthew 7 and verse 24. <clears throat> and it reads, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right, this is the this is in red. These are the words of our Lord Yahweh And he said that those that do these things, right, not only hear these things, but also do the things that he says, he will liken them to a wise man which built the house upon a rock. All right. That's why the scripture says this. James 1 and 22. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Right. Because to hear it and to claim to subscribe to it, but the actions don't reflect that, you know, hey, what is it? What else does it say in the book of James? Let me read it real quick. What's that? James. Uh, yep. James 2 and 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith. And I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. You see? Because doing the work of the Lord is the ultimate act of faith. And let's not forget, faith is a gift that was given. Okay? So many would claim to have faith in this, faith in that, or to be faithful, period. But our works have to back up our faith. Okay? All of our forefathers, the great men of old, not only did they have faith, all right, but their faith was displayed through their works. And it all originates with faith. All right. So when we hear these sayings, we're supposed to do them. All right. And that's why it says that those that did uh, that, that did them, he will liken those to a wise man which built his house upon a rock. The rock is him, Yahushai. All right. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. Yep, that is the foundation, the chief cornerstones, the chief cornerstone, I should say. And we are lively stones built upon that foundation. All right, First Peter 2 and 4, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, and precious. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood. To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right. So these are lively stones. Okay. Stones, living stones that make up this temple. Each one of you brothers out there that are sincere in this and keep pushing, just as I strive to hope to do, uh, just as our apostles on down hope to do. All right, and they set the example forth for us younger brothers. Those are lively stones in the spiritual house. So this is a holy priesthood. And we offer up ourselves as a sacrifice. So that's the act that's the action orientated, uh, the action orientation of the truth. The truth is all about action, man, taking action. When we heard these things, it moved us to action. All right, to go out and proclaim these things. Uh, that's why the scriptures talk about those that so, uh, stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. In second is the second chapter. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. You see. So if you believe on Yahweh by Hashem Yashai, you will not be confounded. Okay. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient. The stone which the builders disallowed, the same as made the head of the corner, right? Because the wicked scribes and Pharisees denied him. All right. And they claim to be building up the kingdom. All right. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. You see, a stone of stumbling. So unto us, he's a chief cornerstone. Unto the wicked of our people, he's a stone of stumbling. Okay. Matthew 7, 25, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. 
And the rock, again, is Yahweh Shai. Any house that doesn't have a, a solid foundation is not going to last long. It might dwell around for a little while, but as soon as some major storm comes, it's gone. It's it's done. It's gone. So that's like an unto the time of Jacob's trouble, where the chip gets made mandatory. That's why we need the Spirit of the Lord to be with us to uh, pass that hour of temptation. It's, it's the only way we've been able to maintain in this truth the whole time is through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, not of our own selves. All right. What we have to do is continue to pray unto the Lord to not take the Holy Spirit from us, to keep us in this thing all the way up until the end, man. Because it has to be a special spirit from on high and a man for him to truly endure in this thing. That's why it says this in Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. You see, Matthew 7 and 26. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. You see? A foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Sand is no foundation for a house. So those that built their foundation upon sand, the things of this world, all right, uh, trusting in America, trusting in Babylon the Great, trusting in oppression, trusting in the government handout, you know, those, those that go down to Egypt, all right, that didn't want to uh, partake, that heard this word and didn't want to uh, change their lives, do anything about it. They just said, oh, all right, that's cool. Or they might have just said, oh, okay, we're the Israelites, great. And then they go and eat some pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, smoke a blunt and pop somebody's woman right after that. Uh, you know, dumb, dumb cats are not going to make it, man. All right. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. All right. So that's going to be the fall of the two thirds. OK, so we need Yahweh Shai now more than ever, man. And we're striving to be joint heirs with him. We're not going to just receive that without going through certain things. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, say, if Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah, we're striving to be a part of that third that's left. And now we'll bring the third part through the fire. And we'll refine them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is my power. So we're being tried, purified. Here in America, Babylon the Great, dealing with uh, different afflictions, different bodily afflictions, financial demons, whatever, whatever obstacles we have to go through. We need the chief cornerstone. We need Yahweh Shai to get through them. All right. So we want to be come out. At, we want to come out as that goal that's tried. All right. And and it says they shall call on my name. Wait a minute. What does it say in the book of Sirach? Seventeen and ten. And the elect shall praise his holy name. There you go. Straightforward. So that's that holy name that we have to call upon, and the Lord will hear us. This is prophecy. He, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is my power. You know, this is the same power that delivered us from Egypt, destroyed our enemies, and we sang the song of Moses. All right, and that's going to happen all over again now. Revelation fifteen and two, it says, and as it were, and, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Right, the elect being up in the chariots, looking down at America being uh, being destroyed by the by the missiles, by the chariot beams, all that, and then that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh Shai, and they sing the song of Moses. So mind you, this is that victory, just like we had victory over Pharaoh and his host. The new Pharaoh is Esau Edom. So we're going to have victory over his beast system, his, the image of his, the, the beast, which is this system itself. All right. The mark, which is the RFID chip, all these things, those that stay faithful and show their faith by their works uh, will will be delivered from all this destruction and will have victory over it. And sing that song of Moses, which is triumph. All right. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who should not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. 
for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And that's going to be when that destruction comes. And those that have made Yahweh Shai their, their foundation, Yahweh Shai their everything. All right, because that's Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is our everything, man. Just like a woman, her husband is supposed to be her everything. So the Lord likened us into a, a comely and delicate woman. So we look at the Lord as our as our protector, our maker. You know, but yeah, with that, I'm going to close it out. Just a quick hit lesson. Call halal. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Shalom, Wabarakatan, to the hopeful elect. Lord's will, I catch you on the next one. Shalom.